Okay, so I just need to rant for a second because I self tan last night, okay? Whatever, not a big deal. It's I do it, okay? It's a thing I do. Twice today. Twice today, someone that I work with has been like, you look different today. First one, the dude was like, you look different today. I was like, oh. And he was like, yeah, did you do something different? And I was like... Uh, I was like, um, change my hair because I don't normally wear it like this to work. He was like, oh, okay. He didn't say anything else. I was like, okay. It's fucking weird, right? And then the second one, he was like, you look darker today. <laughs> and I was like, I don't really say anything. And he was, and I looked at him again. He was like, you look darker today. Like, I didn't hear him. And I was like, like yeah, I, I fake tan. And he was like, Oh, okay, well, I don't understand. I'm a boomer. I don't understand these things. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's just like, neither of them were compliments, so I'm confused why they felt the need to say anything, you know? It's like, if I noticed something different about somebody, I would not ask them, what's different about you today? You know, it's fucking weird, and it makes them, makes them kind of insecure, you know? Me, a little, but it's just like, mind your business. It's like, if so, let's say someone has a, a new haircut, I'm not gonna be like, oh, did you get your haircut? And be like, yeah, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're not saying anything. I would, at least, if I pointed it out, there's probably a reason, and I'm probably gonna be, oh, it looks good, oh, it looks nice. Not, oh, cool. So that's been my day so far. My abs are so sore, but I'm getting stronger, and my, I'm sore for body, but it's really my abs like bad. Also, look how freaking cute this is. Um, my grandma sent it to me for my graduation present. Oh, bless her heart, I love her so much. I just remember I need to do something. I'm giving my shift to Lucas. Remember him from the other video? Yeah. Giving my next Tuesday, week from today, to him so that guess what? We're going to Alabama, which means Vlogmas will end where it began. It'll come full circle. It is 6.04, which means I only have three hours left. You're going down, baby. I changed my quality on my videos so that it'll be better. Can you guys tell? I can. Good night. You're slowly falling asleep. You're literally resting on a... Um, what is this? Like a fruit chopper? See? It is really crusty. I don't think they use it anymore. I hope they don't. Oh my god. I don't know if that's dirt or if that's just like wear and tear. We're gonna call it wear and tear. You know, I just had a moment where I was like, it is so funny that I'm driving around in 30 degree weather, like every single night with no heat. I'm just, I'm just doing it. You know, it's just like, who the fuck am I? It's just, it's just weird, you know? I just had like a moment where I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Is this normal? Is this like a normal thing? Cause I feel like it's not, but also, I don't know the struggle other people are dealing with, and I could be not alone in the freezing cold winter time. Me and Nick are making our world famous, well, Nick's world famous, carbonara. So you're gonna need bacon, peas, Parmesan cheese, eggs, spaghetti noodles, pepper, salt, and garlic. While Nick is over here braiding the cheese. Slate. And Bert is sniffing the ground for crumbs because he thinks he's about to get fed. I will be cutting this bacon. So Nick has been talking about getting 
half and half twisted teas for a long time now. He's always wanted to try it. What do you think, Jax? You're beautiful. You're so funny. Okay. What's your overall thoughts on the half and half twisted tea? finished the first one yet. What percent is it? Five. Pretty good. I mean, He's gonna be drunk by the end of this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I have cut up the bacon. The water's boiling. Oh, that's good. the wrong one. The fucking shit. Water's looking good. There's all of the shaved cheese and I'm about to add three eggs in to the cheese. Oops. Go here. Okay. So you mix that, and also see what Nick's doing. No oil in the pan. Just put the bacon right in. Is that right? Because the fat's going to render off, and that's what's going to be the oil you're going to be seeing. That's and just from the fat. Yeah, this is on medium high. Yeah, medium high. Yeah. Pasta cooking just about done, which is perfect timing because you kind of want your pasta done. Whenever your bacon is like, you want your pasta to be done about the time once everything else gets done. But really, ours might be a little off in time. But the point is, if you're putting egg, like that is your sauce pretty much. Egg and cheese is your sauce. So if your pan is too hot, you're gonna make scrambled eggs. So you want your the only heat that's gonna melt that cheese is the residual heat from the pasta, not the pan. Another thing is that we don't really have a, a set recipe. Like we have the set ingredients, but like as far as measurements go, we just kind of eyeball it. We're like, okay, yeah, this looks like we need more of this, or this needs to go in longer. Mm. So it's not very helpful, but it tastes good. Just cook the bacon to it's crispy. Like, you don't want soft chunks in the pasta. You won't like. <laughs> that makes sense. Like that's what the bacon is. It's not like the bacon's really for flavor, not for like. That's why you don't want huge chunks. Because the bacon's not for like chew on bacon. It's, it's just for taste, pretty much. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an egg so and cheese pasta that's flavored with a little bit of meat. So, well, you might get this stuff right here. I can't remember what this called. It's called like a rye, I think, or a roux or something. Okay. These little brown bits that are on the bottom, you strip them off and they just flavor. They're just like. Oh, yeah, they're just added fat. flavor. It's just pieces of fat that are like. Flavored. So he's taking. Oh, you're making a little pocket. That is his garlic. It smells so good. Throw that rot in there, huh? You don't, don't mix it until you start, you start smelling the garlic. So this is not our recipe, obviously. Well, not obviously, but it's not. Oh uh, yeah, they're right here. Whose recipe was this? Sam the cooking um, guy? Or did you he's just- He's made one, um, something with Badish. Binging with Badish, I think, is his name. He does a lot of cooking stuff that's really good. So and he like does a, it like this way, but this is like a very um, traditional like, Italian one. Okay, so maybe it is your recipe. This ain't my recipe. Oh. <laughs> well, it's our own spin on it. I mean, we use Walmart ingredients. That is fair. <laughs> if you don't like peas, you might not like this. If you don't like peas, what do you like? Do you like peas, This Bert? is a little heavy on the peas, but... I don't care. I love peas. Okay, I'm gonna give Bert a pee, because it's probably fine, right? And it's, it's a little tiny. Let's see what he thinks. It's frozen. Oh, you spit it back out. Is it too cold, buddy? Quite cumbersome. I think he likes it! One. Did he? 
My, I made maybe too much spaghetti. Sorry. Yeah, you can do this with any type of noodles. Mine is like low times and shit like that. They're just not, they're not fancy enough. But like spaghetti, angel hair, fettuccine, it's all the same. Here's what we used one time and it was really good. It looks like a flower. Always wants to know what's going on. I don't know what we're gonna do with all this spaghetti. I Loki kind of missed the beginning, but it's okay. Nick is adding the pasta, combining the noodles. Also, I did add some more cheese because it just felt right to do that. Nothing. You're gonna add to take this in pretty much until it gets like smooth. You don't you don't wanna like let it sit too long on the sides of the hot pan or else you have scrambled eggs in your pasta. Carbonara. <laughs> okay, I realize I'm guilty of this too because I did like quarantine shopping in March or whatever. But so I just watched a commercial for like sustainable, uh, it was like a designer clothing thrift store, whatever. And they were like, it's easier to shop online for these things versus going in the store because of a pandemic. But my thought is like, Okay, so if we, there's no point of, so if we can't go out in public to shop, why do we need to go online to shop? What are we going to use that stuff for? We're not going out. Like you said it yourself, we're not going out. So what is the, like, what's the desire for me to spend money on your stuff, on your items that you want me to buy? Like, why would I want to buy them when I have nowhere to wear them? You said it yourself, you know, like we can't go out to shops or shop here. Shop for what and why? Why are we shopping there? It's like the consumerism. It's like you have to have this stuff because you need to have it. You need to own it. You need to be the one who has it. Even though there's literally no purpose to having those things. There isn't. I just don't see. I wish they would just like say like why. Because it's like there is no answer. There is no this is why you need to have this right now. Because, like, all you can do it for is for an Instagram picture or something. Unless you are going out. If you are, you are. But...